gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it's your boy Mega Crasher, coming at you pumped up, coming at you hardcore, and I'm coming at you guys back again once again with a brand new video, coming in the form of two more Tuesdays! Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves two tremendous battles to get to narrating on our 48th episode. And before I go any further, I'd like to apologize for the lack of overlays in this video. I normally, well, I've been recently using overlays for our Battle Narration Series subscriber show on Sundays and two more Tuesdays. Uh, but the man who creates my overlays is currently unavailable right now, and I don't want to disturb him in case he is busy or if he's asleep or whatever, so I hope you guys are okay with doing it the original way for this episode only. With that being said, let's get into the first match, shall we? We have ourselves a very, very highly intense looking Gen 7 OU match. We got Swagiana versus Clout King. Now, Swagiana's packing the likes of the Agron, or could that be Mega Agron? I don't even know. It recently did just get released, and I'm thinking we might see Mega Agron in action, man. We also have ourselves the Azumarill, the Latias, the Excadrill, the Thunderous Incarnate Form, and the Weavile. Now, we take a look at Cloud King's team, and whoo, man, oh man alive. It is looking scary as well, because we have ourselves the Heracross, or could that be a Mega Heracross? We also have ourselves the Latias. We got Landorus Therian. We also have ourselves Greninja. We got Heatran, and we got the Tangrowth. So... With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's aim for 30 likes and let's do this! Woo! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So we got Azumaro leading off versus the Tank Growth. Bad matchup. Get up. Yes, there you go, baby. Get the hell out of there. We got a control now coming in for against the Tank Growth. And we got that Giga Drain. That's going to do a quarter damage, but with the leftovers, that's going to patch him up a little bit. And Excadrill wastes no time getting them rocks on the field, but Tangrowth goes to knock off, knocking off the leftovers. So he's got no way restored health, so Excadrill returns, and in comes the Weavile, baby. And we got that Earthquake. Oh, that's going to do some damage to Weavile, but Tangrowth ain't having any of that Weavile punishment, man. But in comes the Heracross. We got that knockoff going on, and... Okay, wait a second. Oh, shit! I was gonna say, we didn't see an item get knocked off, and this is why. Because of the Mega Heracross. Here we go. And we got Sub-Zero Slammer, and Mega Heracross hangs on. So it goes for Rock Blast once, twice, and without question, knocks out the Weavile. And, yeah, that's just pretty crazy right there. But now we got Rufus the Thunderous, and then we got the Hidden Power. That is gonna take out the Heracross, and, yeah! Holy cow! But now it comes to Heat Train. Here we go, baby. And Rufus switches out. It goes into the Azuma Reel. And what the hell? We got a Heat Train switching into the Landorus now. We are just seeing some major switching shenanigans up in this bitch. Okay, so what is going to happen here? He goes for the Stone Throgs, baby. Here we go. And we got the knockoff going on. That's going to knock off the Landorus leftovers. All right, baby. But now we got the Earthquake. That's going to do a little under half damage. But we got the Play Rock going on. What is he doing? Why isn't he going for water type moves? Uh oh! And that's gonna cost him! He just got taken out with two earthquakes! But now we got Thunderous coming in. Oh shit, things are gonna get crazy. So Landorus switches out and goes into the Heat Train, baby. Oh shit, here we go. We got the Hidden Power, and that does like no damage. That has to be Hidden Power Ice, baby. Oh snap. But we got the Thunder Wave that's gonna paralyze the Heat Train, baby. And it goes for the substitute right in the face of Rufus. It don't even care, baby. Here we go, man. Here we go. The Thunderbolt's gonna break that substitute. And we got Magma Storm. Oh! It survived! It survived, man. But man, that residual damage is ugly. He has to nail this next hit. And that's gonna be enough to take down the Heatran and thus break the locks of Magma Storm. Oh, shit. But in comes now Greninja. And what's gonna happen next? We got the Thunder Wave going on. And what? What the hell? Why was he immune? Well, you guys are probably wondering why is he immune, Mega Crasher? In Gen 7... Dark type Pokemon are immune to prankster boosted moves, so that was a waste right there. <laughs> Holy shit. But let's keep going, baby. So it goes for that U-turn, and that's gonna be enough to take down the Thunderous. And he got that Protean going on, so he does now switches out and goes in the tank. We also confirm what kind of Greninja that is. Ain't no Ash Greninja. But now we got Agron coming in. Here we go, baby. Oh! Woo -hoo! Mega Agron's in the house! And we got that power-up punch going on. And that earthquake. That Earthquake did no damage! That Earthquake did no damage! What?! Oh my god! Dude, Mega Agron, the boss, is fucking in the house, man. 
What are you gonna do, Latias? Well, you can drop the Draco, but you ain't gonna be able to take it out from that range, man. You got that Heavy Slam plus two gonna take you out there, Latias. Oh my god! But now we got the Landorus coming in. Oh shit, what's gonna happen here? Agron's got to switch out, and we got the Latias coming in. Oh, snap. And, of course, you're going to dodge that Earthquake. That's the Levitate. Oh, snap. Okay, here we go. Now we're back in the Tangrowth. Here we go, baby. Oh, shit. And we got the Draco. And the Whoa. He tanked that like a champ. But we got the Wish now going on. What the fuck? And he goes for another Earthquake, and obviously Latias dodges it. And we got another Draco going on. And Tangrowth is just tanking them hits, man. So we got that knockoff going on. That's going to knock off the soul, dude. And we got the wish coming true, baby. Here we go. So Tangrel now switches out. Goes back into the Greninja. And what is going to happen? We got wish again. So what's going to happen? Oh, we got U-turn. Uh-oh. And it survived. Thank God for that. It survived, man. Holy shit. It is three against three. What a tight-ass game. And Tangrel, man. It just keeps tanking them Dracos like a fucking boss up in this. Oh my god, so Latias once again goes for the wish, and we got Hidden Power with the crit, not going to be enough to take down the Latias, but what's this? He switches back into the Mega Aggron, baby, here we go, and Tangrowth now switches and goes back into the land or Assyrian. Oh shit, what's going to happen here though? We got that wish, and Mega Aggron is nice and healed up, and we got that Earthquake, just tanking it like a boss, and that Heavy Slam is going to be enough to take down the land or Assyrian, baby, but now we got Greninja coming back in. So what is going to happen here? We go, what? Why would you go for Ice Beam? Oh, jeez. That's not good. That's not good. And that's... What? Greninja just survived a hit, man. That thing is so frail. And he goes for Ice Beam. That manages to take down the Mega Aggron, though. But now we're back in. We got that Excadrill going on, man. So what is going to happen here? So Greninja switches out. Goes back into the tan. Growth. And what's going to happen? Got that Iron Head. Oh, that's going to do some damage. And Excadrill now switches out. Goes back into the Latias. So what's happening here, man? We got the Giga Dream. That's going to be enough to take down the Latias, baby. Oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. And now we got Excadrill coming back in. So what is going to happen here, though, baby? What's going to happen, man? And he switches out. He switches out again. Goes back into the Greninja, baby. And that Iron Head is going to be enough to take down the Greninja. But it has come down to this. We got Tangrowth against Excadrill. Who is going to be taking home the cup? Who's going to be taking home the prize? Iron Head. Is he going to get flinched? Is he going to get flinched? No! He flinched! Oh, no, shit! It goes for Iron Head. That's going to be the game. No freaking way. Are you kidding me up in this? Oh, my God. Holy cow, man. Holy shit. Dude. Had that fucking crit or that flinch not happened... The, the, the table could have been turned. Excadrill could have went down to the Earthquake. If, if memory serves, if the uh, Tangrowth had that Earthquake. Holy fucking sh dude. What the hell? That was the fucking turnaround of the century. Oh my god. Dude. A great ass game by both competitors. Oh my god almighty. What the fuck? Holy shit, man. I can't fucking believe it, but that Mega Aggro put in some work, I'm telling you, man. Thank you, Swaggy Anna, for this battle. Like, thank you guys for putting on this show of a lifetime, man. And with that being said, that's a great game by both competitors. But now, ladies and gentlemen, are you guys ready for the second round? Man, oh man, a lot. I don't know how you top the last match, man. Holy fucking shit. But what we got going on here, we have ourselves a match that should be able to top. Well, not just top it, but match it, okay? Because the last match was dope, and I've got a feeling this is going to be dope, too. We got a Gen 7 random battle going on. We got Manipulert versus my man, my bro, Magmar711. How you doing, baby? Oh, shit. Let's get into this. So, he leads up with the Durant, the Manipulator does, and we got Tropius now. Oh, shit, that's not good. And Durant goes to the home court. Oh, God, that's really not good. But he goes for the leech seed anyways. The hell with all that shit, man. Like, he don't even care. And he go. Oh, man, that dirty leech seed stall, baby. Oh, snap. And he took the advantage and decided to go for another home clause. I'm really not liking the chain, so he withdraws and Tropius goes into the heart of Yama, baby. And that Stone Edge, that's going to do quite a bit of damage. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. But what's going to happen, though? Can he take a plus two move? No, he cannot. That Iron Head KOs him, man. 
Oh, snap. And now we got the Chilachino up in this the Cappuccino Cup. And the Cappuccino just went for the U-turn. And what's going to happen next, man? We go back in to the Tropius and go to the Iron. Oh, damn. That is going to do a lot of damage. But he eats up that Citrus Berry and that Leech Sea Recovery. He's going to get him some health back. And Hermish just kicked in and got back most of his health. Are you serious right now? Oh, my God. You got to be joked. That was, that was fucking key right there. That was awesome. All right. So what's going to happen? That Stone Edge is going to be enough to take down the Tropius at plus two. But we got Chilichino, the, cha the Cappuccino the Pokemon coming in with the Tail Slap. Once, twice, three times, make it four. Oh, four times. That's going to be enough to take down the Durant, baby. Holy shit, but he took a bite out of that team, let me tell you. But then we got the Clingity Clang up of this, and now we got Ramparos now coming in. Oh shit, and we got the... Oh, no, 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 no. We got Shift Gear. That's Gear Grind once, twice... That's that, that, that's it for Ramparos. You're going back to the Stone Age, baby. But now we got Raichu coming in. So what is going to happen? Gear Grind once. And the blue pops twice. And it does a little under half damage. So we go for the focus. Let's, oh, that's going to do a lot of damage. But he survives that shit, man. Here's hoping that he survives another hit. But what the hell? He goes for substitute, man. And we got the Thunderbolt. That's going to break that substitute, man. So what is going to happen next in this exchange? Got the Gear Grind once. Twice! Yes, he survived! Raichu survived at plus three! That's clutch right there, and Kalinga Klang goes down. But what's gonna happen? Now that we got Ninetales coming in, oh shit, and it goes on Thunderbolt! That's gonna not do as much damage, but now with that, 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 that hidden power, that's gonna take out the Raichu without question. Uh-oh, this ain't good! Magmar 7-Eleven is at a as a at 4-2 deficit. He's only got two Pokemon, while the opponent has four Pokemon, three of which are not yet revealed. Oh, snap. This ain't good, but can he pull the odds back into his favor? Let's see this, man. But what's gonna happen? We got the Chilichino now with the Tails up once, twice, three times, four times, and five times. Oh! Nice ending with the crit right there. That was awesome. Sorry about the interruption there, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what happened. Once again, we have ourselves some fucking Camtasia recording software shenanigans. But there ain't no way that any shenanigans are going to stop us from getting these battles out and keeping you guys entertained. So let's get back into the track. Oh, so where we left off, we now have Blastoise coming in. Looking to blast away the Chilichino Cup. But let's see if that's going to happen. So what's going to happen here? We got the Blastoise now. So Chilichino Cup switches out and goes into top of... Oh, shit. It's... Mega Bla oh shit, Mega Blastoise goes for that Aura Sphere, and man, Tabu Boo just tanked that up. So what is gonna happen here next? Blastoise switches out, goes, oh, Mega Order time, oh shit, that's not good. But man, that fucking Horn Leech did so much damage. You gotta be kidding me right there. Oh my god, that was crazy. Oh my god, but what's gonna happen here though? Tabu Boo now switches out, goes back into the Chilichino Cup, and we he just missed a Fire Blast. Oh my god, no freaking way. You gotta be choking me, man. But now the sun is gone, and now we got the grassy train. So he goes for Tail Slap once, twice, three times, four times, and it's gonna take him out the fifth turn, baby. Oh, damn. Man, that Chilichino is MV to the fucking peak. But now we got the Blastoise coming in once, twice, three times, four times, five times. We can confirm that's fucking skill link up in this bitch. And that, what the hell, Chilichino? Chilichino actually survived a fucking, uh, got Mega Launcher Boosted Aura Sphere from a fucking Mega Blastoise. And that thing is frail as hell, too. But with that being said, that was damn impressive. But now, what is gonna happen next? It looks like Chilichino might... Never mind, we actually have ourselves Tapu Bulu coming in. What the hell is this? So it goes for another Aura Sphere. Okay, and that's not gonna do a damn thing to Tapu Bulu, man. Holy cow, what's gonna happen? Oh! Even Tabu Boo survive, baby, yeah. It goes to that Hornley, super effective, hard hitting and everything, man. Oh my god, what the hell? What kind of turnaround was that, man? That was absolutely nuts. But now we got Chai Mecho coming in. Oh, I'm not liking Chai Mecho's chances. And oh! That wood hammer was out of fucking question. Just took down Chai Mecho, and Tabu Boo goes down to the recoil after a good fight. God dang it, man. That was a great fight. Holy cow, man. That was something. Damn! And I just gotta say, those were two very high-ranked battles, too. <laughs> oh my god! That was, that was incredible. That was fucking incredible, man. God dang it, man! The Magmar 7-Eleven, great game, great win by you, great performance by both of you amazing competitors. Woo! 
With that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is going to conclude these battles and conclude this video. Tell me what you guys thought about these matches. They were so fucking tight. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys all very much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure you smash the hell out of the like button. It is, like I said, at the beginning of the program. Let's aim for 30 likes. And if you want more content like this, then make sure you subscribe, support, stay positive. And also, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to turn on notifications. That way, you will be the first to know when you see your boy Mega Crasher upload next. And also, ladies and gentlemen, if this is your very first time ever viewing my content and you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for, man? Hit the sub button up real nice and join our community today, baby. We are on the highway to 5K. Ain't no way anything or anyone is going to stop us. Not a force of nature, not an act of God. None of that stuff, man, is going to stop us. It's not going to stop the big, bad Canadian Mega Crasher Destroyer from achieving the goal that you, the Crasher community, want to see us achieve. So, thank you guys all very much for watching this video. Much love to you cool cats, and I will see you next upload.